Hey, it's Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through how you can work with Expression Web and also add a little code in so that when you're trying to put an image in to the background, you don't get that um, solid repeat of the image throughout, which is what Expression Web will default to if you tell it to add a background image to the web page. So let's walk through it. Here we have a simple, very simple web page that has this uh, coffee cup graphic as a background image. That's the browser view, by the way. And then let me um, minimize that. And let me take you to the code. And let me take that back up there so you can see it a little better. And let me, we'll do straight code right now. I'll just show you a very simple coded web page and um, done in Notepad actually, but I just uh, opened it up in Expression Web. We have some basic CSS going on in here with the margins and all that, but when it came down, I decided not to code in the background image. Instead, I used Expression Web to add the background image, and then I made some code changes to it after I already added it. So let me um, kind of walk you through that. So. When we go to the design view, and I'm in code view right now, but let me go back to design view of this page. You don't even see the background image at all in design view, but you do see it in browser view, which is the important part. Um, but in design view, you don't see it. And to add a background image, you would just go to format, background. And I already have it selected here, and I do need to make it a watermark. But formatting is the tab that comes up when you say format background. And you can pick a solid background, but today I wanted to do an image. So we'll say background picture, yes, check mark, make it a watermark, which makes it uh, very subtle. And then we want to go browse for the image. So I hit browse, and I browsed back, and in that same folder where I have the web page stored, I have a graphic called Coffee Cup Graphic. So I selected that and said open. Okay, already did that, so that's already there. And um, said okay and uh, didn't show up as you see but if I save you know hit F12 it comes up like this now the first time you do it it's going to come up with coffee cups all the way across and down and it's uh, not what you want obviously so when we go into uh, code let me take out I had background repeat code and it said no repeat and I had background set position and I had center and um, let me take that code out because that's the code I added to make this look better but let me show you what it looks like if you don't so that was pretty much after I said um, insert background and that's what it kind of looks like and it put body style equals background image URL and then that's the name of the graphic and um, the rest of this was you know already there all right, so if I save that and I go look at split, I love split view because split view kind of tells you here's half code, half half design view, basically. You can see how the coffee cup repeats all the way through. And if I did browser view, hitting F12 on my keyboard, this would be what browser view would look like, and it's just uh, obviously something you wouldn't want as a background. So let me show you how to fix that. Let me exit out of the browser view, and let me go back into the where we said format background and we picked the image and all. So this is the code that wrote that, that made that happen. So we just need to add some codes in here. Some, H, some um, it's kind of like CSS code. And so if I add in a background, this is right after the image code goes in. So I, I can do background, repeat, colon, and it even pops up in Expression Web. And I'll just hit a couple of spaces there but I'll, I can type no repeat or I can just click on it double click on it and say no repeat okay and then um, that will just take it down to one and um, I don't really have a position for it on here so let me add a position so after that no repeat and then it puts in a colon and I don't you don't want a colon there you want um, a semicolon there and so the next one I want to do is background position so I can type that or I can just pick it from the menu here background position um, let's just say maybe I want it in the center just one 
image in the center of the page or if I want it left or top left I can show you how to do that so we'll say center and we'll just put a couple of like a little space there and um, after center you want to hit semicolon not colon make it sure it's a semicolon okay and then let's save this and see what happens you save it and go well wait they all went away what's up with that well in design view it does look like it's all gone away and there is no background image but I tell you if you add if you hit F12 on your browser to get your browser to show up there's your in browser view which is the view that counts that's where your background image is okay so now we don't have this repeating background image going all the way across and all the way down all the way through the web page so that, now let's say we want to reposition this maybe we don't want it in the center maybe when we want it in the top left might look nice up there so let's uh, go back and get out of browser view and just change the code so let's go to split again and let me go back in here where I was working I said background repeat no repeat I still want that to be the same but I also I um, want to change my background position. I don't want it in the center now. Let's say I want it to take center out and let's just say we want it in the top left. And don't forget your semicolon. I only need one there. Okay. Now let's just say top left. Let me save it. And you can see now it pops up in the split screen view, um, which for whatever reason, I don't know why it doesn't show up in the other view. But um, let me um, hit browser view and show you how we've moved that background image from the center to the top left just because we put the top left code in there okay so um, I think that will help you because you gotta remember anytime you put an image in as a background on a web page it will default to the repeat mode and that's usually not what you want so code wise that's how you're gonna let me exit out of browser view and go back to the code and once you uh, see where your background image code is placed, that's when you can add, add background dash repeat colon no repeat semicolon. And to position it, you go background dash position colon and then top space left if you want it top left uh, colon, I'm sorry, semicolon. Or if you want it to say be centered, put the word center in there instead. Okay, so I hope this bit of code helps you when you're trying to position and get a background image placed on your web page via Expression Web. Hope this video helps. Check out our site, techiewarrior.com. Thank you for your time.